Hey guys, Matt from SamRolling.com, and for today's episode, I'm still in Amsterdam doing a bit of prep, noticed I had something loose inside my boom pole. So I decided to take it apart, and I'll show you what happened. So after just unscrewing some of the segments, I eventually found it was the bottom of this, which actually screws in at the bottom of my panoramic, I guess as a different stopper. So, I'll just screw it back in. Probably should give this a little clean as well. Oh, and, um, yeah, we should be good. So I guess I'll take this opportunity to just talk through a bit about um, how I keep my boom poles maintained, I guess. Um, it doesn't really take that much. Uh, that time since I opened them up, there's quite a lot of gunk in them, so I just uh, re-greased them all. They're quite easy to just... these are panemics, um, and you just keep on screwing them and then they just pop out. Um, quite easy to put back in as well. You just want to make sure that you're not getting dust um, anywhere in the center. And um, just to keep that smooth action, it's good to re-grease them every now and again. Um, I wouldn't go overboard. I haven't touched mine in, I think, about two years, maybe? Um, and then for carbon fiber, if you're using, if you're going to use water, for instance, or it gets wet, then you're going to want to dry that off really, really quickly, because water is really bad for carbon fiber. And what else? That's about it, really. You're just trying to keep it clean and dry, um, especially when you're uh, collapsing or opening. Again, in the wet, if you're collapsing it straight after, try and have just a pole... Uh, a towel around the pole um, and then you can close it while trying to keep as much excess water um, and that'll also help it smell better as well. Uh, so if you have any boom pole tips um, feel free in terms of maintenance to share them below and I will see you tomorrow.